Hello guys and welcome to this video. My name is Russell Chidakwa and today I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to use the Citicon credit card validation tool. So this is an exciting tool that we have in the Citicon framework. I invite you please to download the latest version which is 2.0.6 because we've made several updates to these tools. So the Citicon credit card validation tool is a set of algorithms that checks whether a given credit card is valid or not. So I'm going to walk you through the properties that we have and uh, just right click and select properties on the component and this tab will pop up. So the first property is the card input. This accepts card input and is type of Citicon text box. So this is a control where the credit card numbers are going to be entered by the user. And most likely it is a Citicon text box. So you target this by selecting the Citicon text box, which is a credit card input right here that I've pre-dropped and made a few changes. I've uh, made it material type and gave it a credit card input as name so that I can identify it right here. So it's a credit card input, which is of type Citicon text box. The second is the card provider. You can choose up to six card providers. We have Discover, Visa, Mastercard, American Express, JCB, and Dinners Club. So you, at the moment, we support these six, but in the near future, we're going to be adding more Amnex and, and so forth to this list. So how does this work? When you go down here, you can see the output. It contains error message and is valid. Of course, this error message is going to be displayed when an error is uh, pro is when an, when an error happens after a processing of a card. And this is is valid is a boolean property that is going to be evaluated after the message, which means it's going to be either true or false. When a card is valid, it's going to be true is valid is going to be true when a card is invalid is going to be false so if the card is valid this is valid is going to be true if the card is invalid this is valid is going to be false by default it's false because we have not imported any card right there so to display the errors i've dropped a silicon text box um sorry a label below the text box right there and this message display control accepts any type of control. But I advise you guys to use a label because a label is not editable, is a read only. So I've used this label to show some errors. So by default, the discover credit card type is set. So let's see here, I've uh, examples of uh, accurate credit card numbers. So I'm going to test to see if it works. So let's run our project and see what we have so far so i'm going to be pasting this discover credit card to see what happens credit card is valid there you go and let's press the jcb to see credit card is invalid let's try visa credit card is invalid let's try mastercard the it is credit card is invalid so it applies uh, several algorithms and checking on the credit card as you input to check if the card is uh, valid this one ends with 009 so let's see discover ends with uh, um, 009 so as the user types you get real-time uh, messages for example credit card is too short zero zero nine nine credit card is too long <laughs> so the algorithm is working right there i want you guys to see that there is no code whatsoever right at the back this is the code that we used in a previous tutorial so let's remove the event and delete the code you see that there is no code at the background right as you can see there is no code unless, uh, except sorry, this uh, line that is applying a drop shadow. But we have not written any code and the validation is still happening because this to validation two will check for the credit card in real time and check for its uh, validity. There it is. So let's 
try another card let's go to visa let's run our application and this time i'm going to input the discover credit card first to see if it works it should not work only the visa card should work so let's see credit card is invalid as we have expected the jcb of course it will not work but if we put the visa yes that will work because it is complex algorithms that checks the credit card type or the credit card network provider versus the card that is being imported by the user to come up with the decision whether the imported card is valid or not so this is a complicated a component that we have made right there for your convenience yes so this applies to all the rest so we can check for jcb and let's run we can copy this jcb so that we can test when the application starts there you go let's check that yes it's valid but let's try to put the mastercard which should not be valid right it's not valid so i advise you please guys to download this and check out these three components that we have these are going to lessen your development as you can see it's codeless you don't have to write a single line of code in under one minute you can start to check for email validation password validation credit card validation under one minute if you face any challenging challenges using these three components please 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 just say on the comments section i will happily make a tutorial or i'll answer your question directly uh, i invite you please guys to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so and i really appreciate you guys checking out these uh, videos and go ahead and download the latest version which is 2.0.6 my name is russell chidakwa until next time cheers